everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a come and craft and chat with me video. And I'm so super excited to do this video because it's going to be a series and a giveaway. So um, I will be uploading a series of videos. I don't know how many yet because I haven't made it. So we will see together. But I know that um, at the end of each video, I will be giving away a die, whether it's from AliExpress or My Road. It's going to be a die that we use and we like. So um, all you have to do to follow along is to leave a comment and like the video. Leave a comment, like a video. And then the next day I will announce a winner the next time I upload one of the videos in this series. So really, really easy. And it's just a chance for me to engage with you or if you have any questions, of course, leave them below. But I make, my stuff is pretty simple. So I just figured it'd be a good idea that you guys uh, join in with me. Hashtag me on Instagram. If you guys are playing along, that would be super awesome. And um, so here we go. I am going to be using the Pink Passport by the Paper Studio, which was at, um, it's at Hobby Lobby. And this is the 12 by 12. It's a fairly thin paper collection, but it's really, um, really pretty papers in it. I know you guys have seen it. It's like um, French and girly and um, fashion. So diamonds, bling, ice cream. So that kind of um, theme stuck out at me. So I wanted to play with this a little bit. So um, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how many videos I'll be uploading, but we're going to start with the basics and then you guys can just work on it a little bit at a time. So instead of lumping up, you know, a couple hours in one video or two videos, we're going to do little things along the way. And hopefully by the end of the series, we will have a super cute loaded envelope. So um, be sure to leave a comment, like this video and the rest of the videos as part of the series in order to be eligible to win one of those dies and um, come on and craft and chat with me. The only thing that I did was make the box and that's when I thought that I would do a whole series on it. So this is the box that I made and I posted this on Instagram a few days ago and it's super cute. The box is seven by nine by three inches deep. This is how it looks. And I tried to get as close uh, uh, to that pattern paper that I could as possible. And I have these little Dollar Tree marbles at the uh, bottom just so they can roll. The box can roll a little bit better. I know it's difficult to see. On the uh, around the perimeter, I have some uh, bling, black and silver bling. So it's silver, black and pearl. And that paper kind of remind me of like a Coco Chanel type vibe so i cut this out with my silhouette cameo and then i this is just a perfume bottle um filigree from the cameo and then i just uh welded two c's together kind of to make the coco chanel and then i added a ribbon buckle and flat back pearl or flat back pearl with a with the bling around the edges and then i um altered one of these bow files from the silhouette cameo really cute I kind of wanted to make it look like a gift box and I added some flat back pearls in there so that's my theme and then this is the inside super cute I added this pretty bow paper around the perimeter on the inside of the box and then on the flap so I'm not sure what I'm going to put if I'm going to put anything on this flap or not or if I can depending on what goes into this box but isn't she just darling I love it it's super cute so that's just cut down like I said this is seven by nine because pretty big box and then it's three inches deep super cute not sure if I'm gonna add like a little flap on the side to keep it closed but it's doing a good job of keeping it closed um, keeping itself closed just with the weight of the chipboard chipboard box really really pretty so my plan is to put the loaded envelope on the inside of here and um, yeah let's go ahead and get started like I said this is all that I created so let's go ahead and get started with the items that we'll need to make the envelope all right we're gonna pull out the usual suspects in my videos at least and that is adhesive you can use wet glue this is art glitter glue or um, double-sided tape I think I may be used both in this um, in this project you'll need a trimmer scissors your bone folder the scoreboard 
or whatever tool you're going to use to score up your paper with. And I'm using, um, you need 12 by 12 paper for this. I'm using Basil, uh, is it not Basil? It's Recollections 80 pound cardstock, and this is embossed um, cardstock, and it's in the chevron pattern. I thought that was pretty, you know, kind of bougie a little bit to add um, this type of paper to make it the loaded envelope instead of the smooth added a little bit of texture to the project which is what I'm looking for so we're gonna go ahead and get the measurements and cut down this paper the first measurement will be nine by nine and a half and just be uh, observant of if you're using embossed paper that the patterns all go the same way so nine is going to go across and nine and a half is going to go vertical. And then you'll need a piece cut at the end result of this loaded envelope will be six by eight. Um, so you'll need a piece cut at six by eight. Okay. Six by eight. Okay. And then I'm going to do another piece at um, nine by five. Let's see, make sure I'm going in the right direction here. Yep. Nine by five. It's going to be a pretty thick envelope base. And then another piece at nine by two and a half. So that's nine by two and a half. It's going to be a three tier envelope. I know that my embellishments tend to be chunky. So I wanted to have a little bit of substance to be able to hold all of my embellishments that I'm planning to make. So. We're going to set aside the piece that's six by nine. Set that aside. And we're going to go with that piece that's nine by nine and a half. So we're going to score that at a half an inch. And then one inch. And then one and a half inch. Okay. Get a good here and then we're going to flip it and do the same thing so in the half an inch a one inch and a one and a half inch okay turn it 90 degrees and we're going to do the same thing we're going to score at a half inch one inch and one and a half okay Then we're gonna take the next one, which is the nine by five. And on that nine inch side, we're gonna do the same thing. Half inch, one inch, one and a half. Flip it to the opposite side. Half inch, one inch, one and a half. And then flip it to the bottom and we're just gonna do a half inch. All right, that final piece at nine by two and a half, we're gonna do the same thing. Half inch, one inch, one and a half. Flip it to the opposite side. Half inch, one inch, one and a half. Turn it 90 degrees. And we just do a half inch. Okay, now comes the fun part of scoring over all these things. Uh, the first thing that I'm going to do is you can see these marks, hopefully. I am going to angle this off. So um, it's kind of like mitering the corners. So we're going to cut out this section here. just like so. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna fold this under. 
and give it a good crease. And while I'm on the back side, these are going to go hill and valley. So starting at this line, it's going to be facing you. So that's going to fold down. Then next line is going to go back. And the last line is coming toward you. Give it a good crease. Flip it to the opposite side and do the same thing. Starting at this base, bring it all toward you. Next line goes back. Last line comes toward you. And then you should have something like that. Okay. We're going to do the same to all of them. Start with the miter. Okay. Bring it toward me, away, and toward. Bone folder. Toward me, away, and toward. Bone folder, and then the bottom just folds toward me. I should have it look like that. The next one, or the last one. Same thing. in out and last one is facing me Make sure I got that right in out in in out and in and then you should have that and then this is the last one that's going to sit on top of that, like that. Okay? That's just the plain 6x9. So, um, if you are going to do any designs or any cuts, this is where you want to do them. Do them. So, I am going to eyeball about there. I'm going to cut a little slit down. A little because this one's going to go next. I don't want it to go past that too much. It's a little bit more, it's up to your discretion. So I'm going to flip it over and then I am just going to gently fold that back because I want to be able to have the items peek through. So gently folding it back so it looks like that and then I'm going to take my scissors and kind of round this edge a little bit Just soften it up so it doesn't look like a tuxedo okay then I'm just going to add some glue to this flap so it can stay down And I'm going to add it to the other side. And that's what we have. Okay. So, at this point, we can add our... Uh, this double-sided tape is too big. I am just going to use my wet glue. I'm going to add it to the bottom flap first. This last flap. I get it on there good and then this is going to go face I'm going to use my pattern embossing it's going to be on the back side and that's going to go right on top of that sheet down there and I'm just centering it right in the middle And then these two are going to fit right on there, on the sides. Like so. 
you can start with lining up the top and then the rest will fall into place really easy this paper is thick I can tell you that I think I was off frame the whole time because I couldn't see <laughs> all right so there we go you want to go ahead and give those corners a nice crisp bone burnish okay then we're going to move see how thick this is nice deep pocket okay and then we're going to move to the next one now you can feel free to cut this one as well because we're going to layer another one there too so i am going to cut this one actually i want to kind of line it up with the one on top i'm just going to go like that get a little pen it's about cut right there so I can try to stay as uniform as possible just cut a little bit down okay flip it to the back side and fold it over flip this to the back side fold it over and then add some glue Oh, am I on frame still? Oh my gosh. I get in a work zone and I am just not even paying attention. All right. Add some glue to the back of that. Okay. Take this back out. Okay. And then we have just this left I found it useful which is what I ended up doing with this last one with this first one rather is maybe if you are having difficulty so let me round this corner um, getting the pages to get on there just right then you can start with one end like this and then close it and then do the bottom when you get done that's always helpful too so I'm gonna see if my hot glue gun will work for this heavy paper. We're gonna try it. All right, where are you there? this side and add the hot glue it barely can reach And then this last one is this little flap down here. I'm going to grab the hot glue off to the side. Get this on here evenly. There's the glue. And I'm just going to tuck that in. And line it up. love it super cute okay and then the last one here I am just going to put on there I'm not going to add the little yeah I'm not going to add the little uh, cut t-shirt cut I don't know what to call that thing but and I just added a little bit of hot glue okay off camera I'm going to add a little bit more to the opposite side
and then this bottom flap. There we go. I'm going to tuck that in. There we go. Those are all the pockets. That's the side profile. Okay. Now let's see what it looks like in this box. It's great. Great, great, great. All right. So I will be adding um, papers and things to this maybe or maybe I'll just let the I'm not sure I don't know yet <laughs> all right so I am going to try to keep these videos short so with that I'm just going to layer the back side of this um, envelope and then we will start making the stuff in a, uh, another set of videos so I'm cutting this down to Let's cut down to nine six by nine and that's this image is she adorable and actually no not six by nine six by eight and that's going to be going on the back here I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a border because that's already six by eight maybe five and seven eighths by uh, seven and seven eighths. See what that looks like. Just to give it a little bit of a border. Okay. This is what that's going to look like. Super cute. Isn't that adorable? So. As you can see, I just crushed this with the little, with the trimmer. I took off a little piece down here. Easy fix. Just gonna add another little piece down here. And then we're gonna cut around it. Ah, nobody will know. All right, so gonna add some wet glue to the back here ripped the back of this off when I when I was trying to apply that first sheet because I couldn't see it and I was on camera and trying to be on camera but I had to pull it to me end up ripping off like a little layer of that but easy fix just covered up with some pattern paper cute fixing stuff all day that's what we do can't even tell that little piece was missing down there All right, I'm not sure if I'm going to cover this or not. I'm guessing that I won't and just have like the elements in here. Um, that's what I'm guessing, but we shall see. So with that being said, we are going to end video one with the intro showing the box and then the making of the um, loaded envelope. So tomorrow we will be working or the next video, I'll say we'll be working on an embellishment and we'll we'll start we'll do a start to finish with that embellishment, um, making it, creating it, packaging it up and sticking it in the envelope. So um, I hope to see you guys then. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment below. Let me know you're following so that I can pull a name for the next video. Or even if I don't do the next video, I'll maybe do at the end. I think that'll be better. I'll do um, 
at the end of the series, I will announce the winner for um, the die. So I know I have at least seven dies that I can give away. So we at least have to do seven videos. Maybe, maybe not. All right. I will see you guys next time. Follow me on Instagram. If you are not, I would love to be your friend. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.